There is a lot of reasons to have more than one screen in Windows, but if you have more than one screen connected to your GPU, does that actually create a performance impact for you? And if so, by how much? For us to find this out, there are four different states we need to compare. Single screen with no additional screens connected, which will act as our baseline to compare the other states against. Blank screen, where we have the second monitor connected, but we're not displaying anything other than the blank Windows desktop. Applications, I've created a worst case scenario for this one, where on the second screen, I will have four applications split into each quarter of the second screen. The applications are Obsidian for note taking, Discord for voice chat, a performance monitor, and a web browser. And lastly, there is videos, where I have put up a 1080p live stream in full screen, as that seemed like the most common use case. Let's start off looking at the VRAM usage whilst in idle on the primary screen. Single screen, 1440p, we are sitting at 1.1 gigabytes of VRAM usage. Keep in mind the GPU needs a little to run Windows and its animations and output to your monitor. That's what we are seeing here to start with. Moving on to dual screen, 1440p, with both screens blank showing the Windows desktop only registered a 50 megabyte increase. This was very consistent when I was replicating it by just disconnecting and connecting the second 1440p screen. Moving on to the applications, having the secondary screen show all four apps open and displayed showed a bump of about 450 megabytes. This VRAM increase will be very dependent on what applications you are running, however. As mentioned, I've tried to create a worst case scenario here. Lastly, we'll see that when running a full screen 1080p stream on the secondary screen, we gain a full one gigabyte of VRAM usage over a single screen with nothing open. This should be setting the tone for what we can expect. Now, let's take a look at what happens when we have a game open on the primary screen. Let's see if we can track the same increases in VRAM that we observed in idle whilst the game is running. The answer here is yes, and pretty consistently, because a live stream or any application on the secondary screen are still using your VRAM to store information. Now let's check the power usage of idle. Here we can see a steady increase in line with VRAM usage. Note as well the 1.3 watt increase just from connecting another monitor. Jumping across to the in-game power usage, there is seemingly no trend. At most, we have a 2% power increase from 319 watt to 325 watt when running Cyberpunk 2077 with our second screen full of applications. Aside from this, everything else is within margin of error. Looking at our average frame rate, we can see that only Cyberpunk is trending down when increasing the usage with a second screen. Cyberpunk drops from 59.5 to 57.8, which is around a 3% change. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is within margin of error and seemingly didn't get FPS affected. All of this tells us that it's not enough to just have another screen connected to your computer for it to impact your performance, but rather what you're choosing to do with your second screen that matters. This does show that it's your VRAM that gets the biggest impact. The amount of VRAM hit will vary depending on what applications you're running, the resolution of your secondary screen, the refresh rate of your secondary screen, the quality of your stream, videos, etc, etc, etc. The point I wanted to show here is that there is an increase in your GPU VRAM utilization and a decrease in performance under very specific loads. However, VRAM usage is interesting. We had an increase of around 500 meg from running applications or even one gigabyte for a 1080p live stream. That could quickly add up if you have even more screens, say three screens with one running a game, another running applications, and the third with a live stream. The only FPS drop I could measure with any success whatsoever uh, was in Cyberpunk 2077 whilst it was under my full 320 watt load of my GPU and even then it was only a 3% dip whilst having a full screen stream up on another screen. The only catch here is that if you have a graphics card with a smaller amount of VRAM like let's say 8 gig is an example and on your 8 gig GPU you have up three screens. You're, we know from these tests that you're going to be using quite a bit of your VRAM on your other applications and your video streams that you watch while you're playing a game. 
which means when you play a game like Cyberpunk, which has a really high VRAM requirement already, you're potentially going to run out of video memory faster than you otherwise would have with just a single screen. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, take care, look after yourself, and I'll see you in the next one.